Hello. So it's Halloween. Yeah, Halloween, and appropriately, it's as cold as a witch's tit. Food. Actually, it's not too bad. I've got warm. Been walking from the car to here, and uh, yeah, you still get warm. But yeah, more appropriately, I've decided to keep the mask on because it's trick or treat. And uh, got out the shower this morning and saw myself, and I thought, who's that wizened old wizard? It was the Bry. <laughs> So we've got lots of leaves on at the moment. I'll just show you if we see any nice colours, although they're all nice colours, aren't they? What colour is not nice? Brown? What do you reckon? So I've mentioned in these videos, probably a number of times, that whatever happens in your life, right, whatever experiences that you go through, whatever situation that you're currently facing, it's often not the experience or the, um, the situation or there's some lovely yellow leaves. Where am I going to try to show you some leaves while we chat? So it's not necessarily that, but it's how we think about... Um, I'll go around the other way. It's how we think about the situation, how we deal on a mental level, on a psychological level, with whatever's going on. And it doesn't matter what's going on, really. We deal with it in whatever way we can. And, of course, the best way is um, a more relaxed mindset you know and um, a bit of adult thinking a bit of sense so I'm just going to show you the yellow leaves that's all there you go so I've said that in a number of videos that it's not necessarily what you're faced with. It's how you think about it, how you deal with it in your mind. And uh, the way I think about it is, no matter what, you either, because of your thoughts, the way you're dealing with things, not dealing with things because of your lack of understanding because of your thoughts around it, your, your thinking patterns your experiences from your prior life whatever and you put all of that stuff into it and um, you either end up in prison or with a passport Okay. You either end up in prison or with a passport. Now we all know, don't we, there's, uh, <laughs> sadly we all know, there's these energy vampires out there, there's these people that can only deal with the past, what went on, and oh look at me, I'm so upset what happened 27 years ago to me, you know. Yeah, my life was bad, this person treated me bad 27 years ago. They're still holding it. You know, they're full of toxic bitterness to that person. And it can even be, you know, because I worked with a guy years ago who lost his wife, left him with two kids. I think they were about 12, 13, 14, something like that. A boy and a girl. And uh, she died of cancer. And he put himself fully in prison. And he even said to me at one stage, he said, um, you know, she even went 
right at the worst possible time on the run up to Christmas. I said, fucking hell, man, you're so bitter and, you know, angry about it. And he said, well, I'm not angry, but... I said, but she didn't choose. She died of cancer. She didn't think, oh, it's the run up to Christmas. I'll leave now. She wasn't going on holiday. God almighty. But he'd made himself completely the victim. 100%. And everything was um, bad in his life. And yeah, you don't know what I've been through. Bode! Bode! Come here! Come on! Come on! Thank you. Hello! Hello, mister! Oh, yes! This way! This way! Yeah, he'd made himself a victim, 100%. And it's sad. And uh, I think if you lost your partner and uh, you're angry and you're carrying this uh, whatever, oh, woe is me, poor old me, this victim mentality, then it's disrespectful to the partner. It really is. It's so sad. But it becomes about him because he's the victim, you know. So you're either the victim or you have a passport, one or the other. Now, you might think, hang on, Brian, how can you have a passport over losing a partner? Well, again, it's how we think about things, isn't it? If you lost your partner, of course it's sad. It's awful. But the passport is, because the passport is freedom. So you can think, well, at least my partner isn't in pain. Bode, come here. Don't run around there. Come here. Come here. There could be a ditch, could be anything. Thank you. Now, what have you got on you? Come here. Come here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, it's done. Good boy, thank you. <laughs> So, Bode, come here, please. Come on, don't go running away. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Man. Hello. So the freedom is obviously for your partner. Let's, uh, Bode, 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 Bode. I'm not there. Just wait. You have to wait for me. You have to wait for me. The passport, the freedom is, at least I love that person. At least I showed that person love. At least we shared our life together, you know? That's a way of looking at it. And then you think about your life together and the laughs, the cuddles, the holidays, the memories, the experiences. Everything was great, you know, until, sadly, Bird! Birdie! Bird, we're near to playing B A W -L, L, and he knows it. Ah. Hello, hello, soldier. Look at you, man. All right, Captain. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do know. Right, you stay with me, okay? Until we get to where we're going. Look at him, Bird. I just said you stay with me till we get where we're going. You have to come and stay with me. Come here. Thank you. And we go together, okay? Thank you. But perhaps people need to put themselves in prison. Perhaps they get something from that. Oh, look at me. Poor old me, you know. And as I say, we all you know somebody like that. All of us. Sadly. And sadly, we have to cut them loose. We have to get rid of them out of our life eventually because they steal our energy. I mean, I've known people that every single time I see them, I say, good morning, ain't it lovely? Lovely bit of sunshine. And they, go, they pour their negativity on it. They pour their poison on it. They pour their toxicity 
on it. They pour their rubbish on it until you're feeling as bad as them. Oh, look. Hello there. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. Hey. Hello. Come on. Found a friend. So you recognise this bit because we played here before, haven't we? So it's a real shame, but there aren't those people about. We can all be negative at times. Go. Some people are full. Full of negativity. Do you know, on the, the flip side of that, I've got some friends, different friends, that they've had an awful time and they rarely mention it, if ever. Because, yeah, they've had an awful time. They've learnt from it. They've, they've taken whatever they needed to take from it. They've moved on to a degree. Come on, love. I've got long legs, but they're not that long. A bit more, a bit closer, a bit more. That's it, ready? Yeah, and those people, I've got a lot of respect for. But sadly, it's the, um, the toxic, poisonous people. They are poisonous. They want to be like that. I'm sure they do, because we live and learn, all of us. We've all had... A number of difficult times, bad experiences, traumatic things have happened to us. We've all known terrible times. We've also known good times and I hold on to those good times and let go as much as possible of the bad times. But even the bad times, I think what lessons could I learn? Got a rust colour, copper, see it? It's glorious. Yes, I think I'm a great believer, really, in lessons. I think everything gives us lessons if we want them. You know, if we look around and we think and we allow, allow our kind of open-mindedness, really, to um, be the portal to our thinking, to what's going on, to what's going to come our way. You are my good boy. You are my good boy. Yes, you are. So I think everything, no matter what, can either put you in prison or give you a passport. Who wants to be in prison? Who really wants to be in prison? Well, actually, some people do. You know, I know uh, one person, he's got... Oh, I think six stories. Actually, it's seven. I'll be honest, it is seven stories. And uh, if and when I see that person, he starts talking about one of the stories. Uh, the stories are all, I've been hard done by in my life. Let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about what these people have done to me. Poor old me. Feel sorry for me because this is what's happened in my life. That's the stories. And as he starts to tell me, I say, yes, you've told me this. You've told me this again and again and again. And he just continues that story. Talks over you and just continues it. And he must do that. He has to do it to give himself some sort of value. Which is a real shame. It's a pity. Because perhaps people are more interesting than we give them credit for at times. But when somebody for three or four or five or six years tells you 
one of seven stories of how hard done by they were. And that person, I have never told one story. I've never told that person any one of my experiences. But that person's not interested because we think of these people as friends, these kind of negative, toxic people. We think they're threat friends, but they're not. They're not friends. Not really, and that's sad, and it really is sad. But we do, we think of them as friends, and eventually we think, they're not interested in me. Ready? All they wanna do is mouth off. Bad mouth people, because that's what they do. And there is a set of, um, well, there's a criteria about these people, really. There is a, a way of being with these people. And there is a common thread, I've noticed, because I've known at least half a dozen people or more that are very, very negative and very toxic and very nasty in their views and what have you, but also full of themselves. And um, these people, they, they tend to say two things. They, they tell you about the... A terrible, poor old me, what's, uh, what's happened in my life is terrible. Far worse than anybody else. I'm not interested in you or anybody else, but listen to me. That's what they do. And then they also big themselves up. Did I ever tell you I'm the fastest runner on the planet? Oh, lovely. You know, I'm the best driver ever. I've never had a parking ticket. I am um, just started my new job and they've said you're the best worker we've ever had. You know, whatever. They tell you all that as well. And that happens a lot. And I think it's because they're so negative. They live in this world of negativity that every now and then they just throw some absolute rubbish into the conversation to make themselves sound a little bit normal. But whatever they go through, they've got a choice and they can either put themselves in prison or give themselves a passport. Uh... No matter what, no matter what we've been through, we can have a passport. There is there's freedom, and there's freedom in just allowing things to leave you. There's a freedom in letting go. There's a freedom of learning. Taking whatever you can from that experience. And maybe help, helping others in some way. There's a freedom in that. They're your passports. Should we go this way? This little boy. <laughs> Look at him. Loving his little life. I love you both. <laughs> I love you, man. Oh, oh, which way? Oh, oh, oh. That's crap. Sorry, mate. It's just here. It's a bit rubbish. Thank you. Closer, please. A little bit closer, thank you. Ready? That's a better one. Okay, so... What are you thinking? As I said, it doesn't matter what goes on in life. It is how you decide to deal with it. It is your thinking around it. It's not that situation itself. There are some terrible situations. Losing your partner is a terrible situation. And you can either think, huh, she left me at the wrong bloody time there, just before Christmas. That's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, poor on me. The other thing this guy said, told me over and over and over again, was um, I had to bring two kids up on my own. You imagine what that's like, two kids on your own. And I say, yeah, I know, same as my mum, you know, she brought up five on her own and uh, it does happen you know couldn't help but get involved in it a little bit myself but anyway so try not to be negative we all are at times of course we are yeah but try not to be negative if you're aware of it if you're aware that you're 
often negative or whatever and that's great that's a lesson and um, you can learn that lesson you can work on yourself just quietly calmly go <laughs> oh no this way this way this way ready oh yeah look at that one bird oh good boy I think you caught that with your belly How long are my legs? Look, come on now. No. A little bit more closer. Thank you. Ready? <laughs> anyway, you've seen the trees. The trees are glorious. If you can get outside, get outside. Even if you are quite negative about life, by getting outside, you know what it does to you. Uh, This is where I live, this is what feeds me, it really does, you know. I can be negative at times, I think we all can. I can be miserable because I feel sad, I feel sad a lot. I know we've spoken about that. It, it's depression, but I call it sad because it's not as deep as depression. And there should be another word for it, but I call it sad because that's the truth. I do feel sad and I feel sad a lot of the times. But what I do when I meet somebody, whether it's a stranger, a friend or whoever, I don't pour my sadness into them. I don't try and fill their cup with what's uh, bad in my head or going on in my life or whatever. Don't do that. What's the point? You know, where's it going to get you? OK, anyway, that's uh, just my thought of the day, really. So, happy Halloween, if it means anything to you. Okay. Take care. If you can get outside, get outside and be well. <laughs>